All right, so for this build, I'm not going to be actually building a new mast because I already have, um, I had built this mast for a different foil that I was trying something new on. I didn't like how it came out. It came out okay. Didn't come out how good, uh, as good as I thought it would. So I didn't end up using it. So this is just left over. I'm going to use this um, for this foil and I cut it. Uh, pretty short at 20 inches because I'm going to use it as a uh, f so to make it easier for people to learn on when uh, for my friends and stuff so I'm going to be using this uh, for the rest of the build but uh, when you're doing the the mass normally it's just like the wings you glass one side trim it um, down to your edges and then flip it over glass the other side and leave it hanging leave the glass hanging over the edges and then you pour that bead of epoxy going down both sides trim it up and uh, it's just like the wings um, nothing nothing much different about it so for the rest of the build I'm gonna be using this short little mast okay so now we're gonna be joining the mast to the fuselage I have already sanded this part of the mast and this part of the fuselage where the joint will be um, and that's it I mean you really just line up uh, the mass between these two lines and uh, there's a little wiggle room but get it as close you know close and as even as you can and that's really it I have um, some bracing up above that is holding the mast upright um, and you know it'll move a little bit and that's okay because put the when we start doing the joint this will move but you'll have some time to um, move this into the uh, correct aligned position um, and then you smooth out the joint and make sure there's no air bubbles in there okay so just another up close look here uh, we have the mass sitting on top of the fuselage in between the lines and then uh, once I put the joint down I'll probably take a square um, make sure everything's level left to right front to back um, just double check that and that's it and also when doing this joint um, today this isn't necessary but it really helps out a lot and uh, keeps everything clean and neat um, I'm gonna be using these chopped fibers basically it's just fiberglass chopped up really fine um, and so basically what I'm gonna be doing is mixing some epoxy in here and turning this into a like peanut butter consistent um, mush and I'm gonna be using that to fill in here and then I'm going to be putting globs right on both ends. And um, then when you lay your glass up against that, you, you can press out all the air. And, um, you know, it really just helps the transition in this crack. You don't necessarily need this. Again, I highly recommend it. Um, I'm going to be putting this on my site. Um, so you can get it there because otherwise you know you have to it tends to only come in huge uh, huge cans of it um, and I've been using the same can for like 15 foils now so it, you know you end up buying way more than you need so I'm going to be portioning this out um, for like a one a one foil por portion so you don't end up having to buy a ton of stuff that you don't really need. Okay, so I've mixed up my peanut butter epoxy, I guess. Um, and this is good. This this won't run once I lay it down. So you don't need a whole lot. and at both ends here I'm gonna put a 
a goop. Because later, uh, when we cut out the joint, um, we'll be able to make a little a little curve right there. So I did this side, I'm gonna do the other side as well. Okay, so just as before with the fuselage, I've already pre-soaked out my pieces. And I'm just gonna lay them up. Get some spacing on both sides. Lightly press them down. Uh, it's just one important, make sure there's no air bubbles. Just squeeze them out as you go along. And you can see, well, hopefully you can see on the camera the joint, how that um, peanut butter epoxy is helping out. It just totally smooths out that joint. Makes it real easy. Get out all the air bubbles. And that's looking good. Now I'm just going to do the same on the other side. Okay, so I did the same to the other side. Now you can kind of just work this up just like that into those corners. That will make things a lot easier when we come to trim this because you can trim down and you'll be able to trim into this and get a nice uh, smooth edge to that. So that's it. Just keep adding the layers. Um, that's all there is to it. This joint is done. Um, sure looks ugly, but it gets cleaned up really nice. Okay, so this is lined up uh, pretty good, straight and center, right where I want it. And um, just as we did joining the fuselage to the mast, I'm going to join the mast to the base plate using this. And um, something I've well, kind of a key tip, I guess, is this is still wet. I just glassed this. Um, and I'm doing this joint at the same time. And that is because this will all cure as one piece. It will be a really strong chemical bond as opposed to sanding it. You can. I've done both. Um, but at one point, I did start having this joint delaminate from this part. And that was mostly because I didn't even sand this. I, was, I didn't even realize. Um, I'd just simply forgotten. So the whole thing ended up peeling off. But I'm sure if you give this a, a real good sand and then do the joint on top of it, that will be fine. But I've just started doing it all as one just to get a real nice chemical bond to get the strongest possible joint. Um, so... That's something to keep in mind. And so when we lay up this peanut butter epoxy, it's just the same as before. Some a glob at both ends and just a little bit going down the sides. Okay, so just as before, I got my glass that's already pre-wet. I'm just going to lay it up. This is the exact same as the other joint. Get rid of any air bubbles. Smooth that part out. And then do the same on the other side. And then I like to come back. I like to just do maybe two layers at a time. Um, two layers, two layers. Come back to this side, do another two, and then go back over there, do another two. Okay, now uh, this is hardened up, and um, on the underside, here I had, in this gap, I had poured a whole bunch of epoxy, just like we had uh, been filling in all the other gaps. Um, so now I'm just going to take uh, this saw, 
slowly cut these out here. Um, a Dremel also is a great, this cutting bit works great. Uh, they also have that little round circular uh, sanding bit. That also works great. And I'm just going to clean these up, clean all the edges up. On the top too, I'm going to do that. And uh, really I'm just going to clean the whole piece up, sand everything down to all this too, sand that, um, make everything nice and smooth.